him out. Take him out. Reload faster. Just don't let him explode in here. Oh, man. Come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's over. Oh, we're going to die. No, no, no. What's going on guys, TF Game, we are back in 7 Days to Die, the single player season 4 playthrough, day 45. I know, I know guys, day 43 and 44 have disappeared, yet we had a little bit of issue with the recording, so I actually had to uh, pretty much trash the recording, we had a little bit of issue with the audio. Oh, am I hearing, Todd, I think I'm hearing one of our buddies over here, there she is. Oh, let's see if I can get a shot on her before she starts screaming, probably not, oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there she is, but she got a couple people going. All right, so as we take these guys out, we'll finish talking here. Hey, so like I said, we had a little bit of trouble with the recording, so we actually lost. Oh, we need to repair some of our barbed wire over here. Uh, but we actually lost those two recordings. I have the video from them, but not the audio. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a little bit of a update from those two days, just quick videos. Oh, we got a cop. Let's take these guys out before we break camera at least. There we go. Take him out, take him out. Come on, come on. Oh, dang it. He's taking out parts of my base. We didn't want that. Oh, come on now. There we go. Okay. Now I think we're good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple minutes to kind of show you the last two episodes. Just a little kind of an update kind of video. And then I'll see you here in just a minute. Oh, wow. That's nasty. Here you go, guys. Day 43. So day 43 was mainly about uh, catching up with all the aftermath and just going through all the, uh, the, just the, the bodies everywhere. Looting all of them. Taking that down inside the base. You can see over there we had a bunch of cement that we had to fix up. Uh, we actually got really close to losing one of the edges there. Uh, we had quite a few attacks. We had to deal with, oh man, probably 20 or so hordes that day. So quite a few hordes, but we didn't leave the base area. So it's not too bad of a thing that this episode was lost. It just shows you a lot of the in-between repairs and stuff like that. So not not too big a deal. At the end of the episode, I'll kind of show you what we got going on here, uh, what, what stuff we actually have repaired and, and where we're sitting at. All right, so towards the end of the episode, this is kind of what... We had going for the aftermath. I repaired most of the spikes down there, most of the concrete. Everything's starting to look pretty good. It's getting to the point where uh, we've got everything upgraded to a decent amount. You can see down there most of it's upgraded at least up to the, uh, as far as we can get it without the, you know, turning into a fire spike. So that's a good thing. Uh, but we're, we're getting there. We're, we need a few more supplies. I'm gonna have, I spend the next couple days after this uh, really smelting as much iron as possible and trying to get our supplies ready to go. But overall, not too bad. Quite a few repairs done. Still haven't finished uh, getting rid of all the bodies, but we are just about good to go for spikes and repairs for that, so not too bad. It was a good day 43, and then day 44 was kind of more of the same. All right, guys, jumping forward to day 44. Early in day 44, you can see we're doing some of the upgrades on the actual pillars. We decided that it was a good idea to get most of these pillars upgraded so we don't have to worry about them getting broke down anymore. They got really, really close on the day 42 horde, and I think the day 49 horde is going to be even crazier, even though I, I suspect we're going to have you know, some good upgrades going for the turrets and everything. It's still going to be really, really hard to survive. Uh, we're going to do pretty much this entire area here. All of the, um, the walkway, everything else, and then the pillars all the way around the entire uh, structure here will be the same. Uh, we don't need to do the top. Probably the top could probably stay concrete, but we might change that in the future too. So it's just kind of what we worked on day 43. We did take a quick trip into the town, went to the, went to the trader and got some uh, good things going there. And I'll go ahead and fast forward to the end of this episode. All right, guys, so we went ahead and did a trip into the town. We did the trader. We got quite a few good things from there. On the When I go back to the regular episode, uh, I'll kind of show you what we have down below, the different upgrades that we got going. Uh, it, was, it was pretty good, pretty successful episode in terms of that. Uh, we've been getting so many good drops. Uh, the rest of the time in this episode, I spent kind of fixing up uh, the edge over here so that way we don't have to worry about this getting attacked by anything over here. It'll be all the way filled in so that way the, the zombies will kind of just roll up and down over these and then hit that barbed wire. So it should work out just right. The spikes are starting to look good. Uh, the barbed wire is almost all repaired. I still have a few more spots that i got to repair, but we're getting really, really close. You can see I filled in the little corner pieces. That's kind of what I'm running around doing now as I stand on there. Dang it. Oh, yep. <laughs> the struggle is real. Yeah, so we're pretty much trying to make sure we uh, get rid of these little corner pieces just to make sure those are set. So o overall, really successful episode. All right, now let's go back to day 45. All right, guys, there you go. So there's day 40, was it 44 and 43? And backwards, obviously. Uh, not a whole bunch that you guys missed, just a bunch of the repairs. I'll kind of show you what we got going on with that right now. Um, you just 
kind of go through these bodies real quick. Uh, looks like I got a lot of repairs to do now. Of course, this has been kind of the the big thing the last couple of days. A bunch of repairs. So let's let's show you the base. Let's let's move back over here so you can kind of see what's going on. So we've got the actual pillars, the actual base, <laughs> the base of the base. Uh, the, these are actually all you know steeled up, so these ones will be uh, able to withstand the horde a little bit better. Uh, some of the spikes have been upgraded like that too. I've upgraded this, and the whole catwalk uh, is now metal also. So that should be good to go, all made of steel. So it should actually be able to withstand some of the crazy stuff coming up. Am I hearing another zombie? Oh uh, yeah, I definitely heard someone. There she is. There, take her out. All right. So that that's what we have going on up here. I've I've got quite a few repairs to do down here. I'm I'm about halfway done, maybe a little more, uh, with the spikes all the way around. In fact, I might have actually finished them last episode. Now I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let me go around and check on this side. Uh, the barbed wire is completely done. I finished the edges over here. You can see I finished the edge over here. Added another layer of barbed wire here that they run into. And then I completed these back sides. If I can get up here without taking too much damage here. Nope, nope. There we go. Get up. And I completed this side here. I want to do one more set of concrete that runs into the dirt. So there's no uh, gap in here that I can... You know, risk them getting stuck in between. It hasn't been an issue yet, but I just want to make sure. Uh, same over here. We went ahead and kept this layer, and then uh, we can walk along this one to kind of loot the bodies and stuff. But uh, I probably should have went without this layer here. But that's okay. We're going to stick with it. Let me run down inside. There's a couple really good things we got done inside as well. Check this out. Because we're taking all the damage here. So I'm going to run down here. Make sure I search those. Uh, I didn't do anything over here other than I, I might have done this in the last couple episodes. I did fix just the backside all concrete so there wasn't those little gaps where they were trying to get stuck and actually uh, dig through to the uh, the ladders inside of here so let's close this up head downstairs and kind of show you what we got going down here all right oh close your door you know better there you go close that we got a little drop off right here I don't know if we we build this a long time but we just don't use it very often all right so inside here we got a couple things done obviously we've been doing tons of digging getting as much of the raw iron as we possibly can. Over here we built us a mailbox. This mailbox actually allows us to interact with a merchant. Check it out. So I click inside here, it restocks on day 45 and then 47. Uh, so you can come in here and kind of see if there's anything good uh, to buy. It doesn't have a lot, like it's not a huge amount of stuff, but it's definitely enough. Sometimes you get some good things in here that you can buy that's really, really worthwhile. Like we might actually purchase some of that stuff just, you know, just to have it. We'll see. So there, on that side, there's that. Obviously, we've got all of our base stuff going in here. Nothing, no changes there. Uh, I did start digging this way, and now I honestly can't remember what. Oh, that's gonna be for our next base build. That's right. And then over here, we got ourselves a working oven. I can't remember if you guys saw that in the last couple episodes. Uh, so we got the little working oven here, so we can actually cook our stuff up. Helps out a lot. I keep all of our canned food up here in the cupboard, and then I haven't used this one yet. All of our drinks and stuff goes in the refrigerator. The refrigerator has a huge amount of storage. You can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 90 total slots. That's absolutely outstanding. Uh, so we did that. I spent a bunch of time over uh, over the nighttime kind of finishing out this. I'm trying to get it all concreted all the way down. We'll do that over the next couple nights. Not a big deal. So it's day 45. Day 45. We need to get quite a few things going. Now, the good thing is, is now I get to respond to a couple of the comments. So first thing... Uh, in the clothing, I do have most of the parts of the radiation suit. So I have, I'm just missing, I guess the shirt is what we're missing here. So I need, I need to get together a shirt, uh, the actual hazmat shirt. So that's one thing we have to get there. Another thing I wanted to work on, let's see if I can remember which box I had it in here. I know I've got some of it on me. So what, what I did want to do is we can actually take, oh, that's right. We're doing gunpowder. I kind of forgot about that. And we got some more barbed wire going. Let's definitely take that. Uh, I don't need that right now. We'll put it with the tools. Uh, but what I wanted to make is the actual military helmet. We can turn that into a flashlight one. So we can go like this, military helmet with a light. And we have all the stuff already to do it. So let's do that real quick. Uh, but I wanted to upgrade it before we do that. So uh, let's get out of there. Let's do upgrades on the, the two helmets that we do have. So 592, 520, there we go, 600. And then flashlight, for some reason, I think that's the last flashlight. We upgraded to 580. I thought I had more, but I don't remember where I keep those. So I haven't seen them. I was kind of looking around through all of our different stuff. 
And I didn't see it, but that's fine. 580 is not too bad. So now we go military helmet with the light. We have the duct tape flashlight helmet. Bam, like that. There you go. Now we can switch this one out uh, with the actual mining helmet that we have on. All right, so the mining helmet 271. So right now, you can see our, our, our overall stuff over here. 62, 64, 27, 29, 13, 8, and 15. And when we throw this on, you can see we take a nice little jump across the board. This one's pretty much, and you just kind of compare them real quick here. You see uh, this one does 73, 78, 37. This one does in the 40s and 30s. So huge, huge upgrade there. Uh, so that that's upgraded. We need to work on getting a better shirt. Uh, we need to upgrade our military legging a little bit, and we need a better pair of pants. So that's something we need to work on. In fact, oh, we can upgrade that real quick. Let's do that. Let's take our pants off and upgrade these real quick. Not a, not a huge thing. Like these ones don't provide a crazy amount of protection, uh, but enough to where it's you know somewhat worth it. All right, so you know 20, 20, and 20. So we definitely need something better there. All right, let's go like so. Throw those back on. Bam. All right, let me do a little bit of inventory management, drop some stuff, and then we got to roll into town to get a couple things done. Oh, flashlight. There we go. All right, guys, we're in town. So basically, what we're doing today, this will be a pretty easy run. Nothing nothing bad today. We're going to go around and get as much of the military gear as we can after we hit up the trader. So we're heading to the trader right now. Uh, I've got a full inventory of just a bunch of junk, nothing like super, super huge. Uh, but we're going to head to the one that's kind of uh, a little bit further away towards the desert area. I found this a few days back, and we haven't been there uh, very many times so they should be able to sell like some of the stuff that we can't sell to the other guys because they're tired of us selling handguns and stuff like that at them so we can go to this new one over here in the desert area should take me a minute to get there and I'll bring you guys back if we buy anything good over there no oh, there's a wolf waiting at the trader oh man okay so the wolf scared us a little bit over the trader over here uh, we've been getting just a little bit of meat off of here let's do that all right make sure he's open about 8 a.m. already so it should be good all right and I don't know if it's been long enough since I was here the last time no everything's still empty so it was just a couple days ago we were here, so I don't know what's gonna, uh, if he's gonna have anything respawned for us different or new here. Let's find out. This is Bob. Let's see what Bob's got for us. All right. No, I just got rid of some of that. There it is, right there. Shotgun to it. That's why we brought a bunch of our, uh, what money we did have. So we're gonna sell everything we have, and then get these two shotgun turrets. Absolutely perfect. All right. So, oh no, I want to sell all of it. Let's go. Sell all that. So I'm gonna do a bunch of selling, and then we'll grab these shotgun turrets. All right, here we go. Shotgun turrets times two. Absolutely awesome. So that's exactly what we're looking for. That will help out a lot. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I need need off of here. I think we're pretty good. We could use that. The heavy chest armor. I oh, know we had the military armor. We need a shirt to go underneath is really all we need. Uh, that's a pretty high level, which I don't I don't see any in here. But so I'm gonna I'm gonna look through here, see if there's anything else worth buying, and then I'm gonna head back to base. Alright guys, we're just doing speed runs into all the military spots real quick. Looking for military gear and hazmat gear. That's pretty much the main two things uh, we're looking for. We're not even worried about we're not worried about any kind of silence or uh, you know taking our time through here. We're gonna do this kind of as quick as we can. There's one. That's what we're kind of hoping for. A couple of these radiation guys. Maybe we'll get lucky and get the rad suit stuff we're looking for. Probably not, but you never know. Also, I've got a ton of the treasure maps. One of these episodes, we're gonna have to go ahead and do the treasure hunting. I've tried it a couple times. I've never liked going out and Looking for the treasure. I feel like it's just too much digging out in the middle of nowhere. Kind of drove us crazy, and we haven't gone back to doing it since. Uh, but we may have to jump in and do it at some point. Uh, not many people around here. Usually there's a couple guys. All right. I hear you. Where you at? Hmm. Oh, there he is. There's our buddy. Oh, why are we getting some game freezing all of a sudden? What in the world? I don't know what's going on. Just the last couple of days, we've had a little bit of a uh, frame rate issues in our game. Some fiber, we'll take that. Let's go search this guy here. Perfect. Get a little bit of round action. All right. Let's run in the house real quick. We'll just do like a speed run through here. See who we wake up. Might not see anybody. We'll check the munitions box. Other than that, we're not doing any kind of searching outside of munitions boxes and a few of the other kind of boxes like that that give might give us something good. A little bit of rocket ammo. We should have had that before. Oh, there's one. We didn't even see him. There we go. Take that. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, we're actually full. Okay. Uh, we definitely don't need you. We don't need you. Take those things. Perfect. All right. No one else in this building. That was a, that was a quick one. Let's run through this one. Usually you got at least one or two in this this place. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, looks like not. That's fine. 
check out the munition box, and then we'll move on to the next military spot. This is day 45, so we're kind of expecting to get like a, uh, <laughs> a a giant group of dogs or something like that. Just That's our look. That's usually what we see about now. Uh, what can we do here? Let's scrap that because we can't sell any more of those. All right, here we go. Spot two. I've already heard an explosion in here. Hopefully there's nothing crazy inside here. Like I said, we are definitely anticipating the uh, the giant group of dogs at some point. Anytime we go to these military spots, we seem to see those guys. All right, there's one of our buddies. What's up, man? There we go. All right, a little bit of that. We did empty out our inventory just on the uh, the bike over there. So we don't have to worry about all the stuff we were carrying. Do one quick circle around, run through the middle real quick, and then we'll roll on to the next spot. And we're not worried about like the noise we're making or anything like that. So, All right, let's go through the center one time. We should get a little bit of noise in here. Oh, don't get stuck on the trap. Come on, man. Get off the trap. Oh, we're hearing explosions. Whoa, dang it. Let's just make sure. Okay. Do we see anything? Just that one explosion. We're not we're not playing around. Like we hear explosions. We're kinda anticipating it being one of the dogs. And we are definitely taking off. Alright. Nothing really. Wow. Okay. Nothing inside there. This is a quiet little military spot. Let me run up the ladder real quick. Oh, have we not done this one before? Maybe we haven't. Do I have... I don't have any frames. Usually I have frames so I can do this really easy. Let's go. There we go. Okay, just don't fall off now. There we go. Climb in here. Check this one out. Yeah, I thought I've done this before. Maybe maybe this is one of the ones we kind of just forgot. Alright, a little bit of nothing. Alright, let's head to the next one right there. Alright, here we go. One military down. Let's see. And he gave me nothing but cash. No thanks. Alright. Take that guy out, done. Like I said, just quick trips around these. Hoping for some military gear, hoping for some hazmat suits, something. Give us something good. There we go. Still nothing. No luck so far. Alright, there we go. There's our one lap around. Let's run into the center now. Anybody in here to wake up? There's some random lady. Don't care about her. No, nope. a whole bunch of nothing. All right, we got a munitions box at least. Check that. Give me something good. Oh, we did the uh, one of the challenges. That's good. And we did get a couple of the stags. We've been knocking out a couple of those guys. All right, so that was a massive waste of time. All right, to the next military spot. All right, next spot. Here we go. All right, same thing. One quick lap around. Hope for some guys. Hope for no dogs. And hopefully some good drops. Let's see. So far, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Come on. I don't know. Maybe I cleared this one out recently. I don't remember if I came back in here last time. In fact, you know what? I might have come in here. I did. Because I, this is one right next to the silo. I may have come in here on day like 43 or 44. Uh, where to park the bike? There it is. There it is. Let's, uh, let's, let's just jump into the edge of the silo here. We'll do that real quick. That's an easy task. We're not going to go all the way down in there, but we can definitely take out a couple of the guys up in the uh, the top up here. All right, let's do this. And we'll run up here and take out a couple guys. All right, no one in the first part. That's good. And we did just, I did jump in here uh, within the last couple of days. I just jumped in here and got a couple of the, there we go. No, not a, not a military guy. Uh, but we did get in here and get the safe. So these two safes have already been uh, taken from. We won't have to go in there for anything. All right. Let's go one quick time around. Usually got a couple guys over here on the stairs. Nothing. Man. Maybe not. Super quiet. There's one. Yep. Now he's awake. Now everyone's going to be awake. There we go. All right. Give us something good, buddy. Eh, some rockets. Not bad. I can go sell those real quick. We're pretty close to the other trader. We may hit that up real quick. Alright. We're not going to bother going down in there. I would love to take some time to go in there. We are definitely going to come back to the silo. I know I need to go further in. We need to do a little bit better than we did last time. Alright. Let's move. There should be another military spot here somewhere. Let's see. We just came from there. 
Which way? I know there's at least one or two more military spots here, I thought. One right there. There we go. There we go. Into the next military spot. There were some uh, explosions going off. We were kind of looking around, trying to see where they were coming from. I'm not seeing anything yet. We're okay. Everything's okay. <laughs> there we go. Military vest. Not, not something we need. We're actually doing pretty good there. All right. Nothing. At least there's some guys in this one. Holy cow. This one's thick. All right, we're going to go around the opposite way because I can't get a headshot on that guy from here. All right, one sprint around. About 1,300, so we got plenty of time. There we go. Take that guy out. Give me something good, hazmat guy. Military fiber. Okay, we'll take that. M more military fiber. So we're getting a good amount of military fiber out of this. That's definitely a good thing. So we can repair all our stuff up. Oh, man, this guy's at it. There we go. I was going to say we might not be able to get him. We got him, though. Bam, another military vest. So we're getting some gear out of it. Not, not exactly what we were looking for, but we'll take it. All right, let's check the inside real quick. Let's see if there's any, any of our buddies in here. All right, nothing in this one. Okay. How about one of these two smaller ones? All right, nothing. Nothing really. All right, let's head to the next spot. I think there's one or, oh no, I almost hit that mine. There's one more, I think, military spot right over there, and then we can hit the trader up in that direction. <laughs> Check it out, guys, our bike is glitching a little. Hey, so we didn't notice there's actually a town in this direction that we've never been to. That is gonna be definitely tomorrow's uh, task. We're gonna head over there. It is in a this early direction. So we're gonna throw a waypoint over there so I won't forget it, all right? And then tomorrow, we're going to take a trip over there and kind of see what's over there. Look at that. We definitely want to check that out. See what's in that town. See if there's anything good, for sure. All right, let's head to the trader. I'm going to do a little bit of trader action. I just want to show you guys what we got on the docket for tomorrow. And then I'm going to head over here to the trader, drop most of the stuff that we got on us, see if he's got anything good, and then head back to base and go install our two more, two new shotgun turrets. Can't wait. We can have four of them. So all four corners of the base will be somewhat protected. And now it's just going to be a... a, a matter of making a whole lot of ammo all right guys we finished selling that second uh, batch of stuff here we've got a, a loot box out here somewhere that's what we're headed towards right now let's see should be coming on any second now I'm not sure when this one came in I didn't hear a plane or anything so I'm not really sure let's see I'm surprised oh wait okay we're right on it there it is there it is okay I'll check out this house that'd be a decent house to build up into all right Grab everything. Anything around us crazy? I know I saw another deer. I kind of lost it now. Where'd it, where'd it go here? Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Let's do some super zoom in here. There we go. If I can get over there, get a little bit more meat. We've been trying to stack up a little more meat and eggs so we can make more bacon and eggs. We've been running just a little bit low on food. Uh, so I'm going to chop this guy up and I'm going to head back to base. Oh, we're missing the uh, the dogs. We hear a bunch, a bunch of dogs up here. I know they followed the motorbike back. All right, come on, come on, come on. We tried to wait up up top for a little while to see if we could see them, but we didn't get to see them. There they are. There's our buddies. Come on, take them out. There we go. Get some kills in. The problem is they're just like randomly running over there now. So now if I take off over there, I know I'm gonna I'm I'm bound to find at least one of these guys. Just see, just doing that right there. Is he dead? Okay. I think we're good. I think we took everybody out. I think we're good to go. Alright, let's place the next two shotgun turrets. How do I place these guys? Right on the edge right there. Let's see. Now what I want to know if I can actually place them out even further. Oh, wait a minute. Are these the wrong kind of turrets? Let me see. No, that's right. Okay, just making sure. Okay, so I can. Look at that. I can place it out there. How safe is that? Hmm. I think we're going to do that. I don't know. Yeah, let's let's do that. We're going to place it one further out there like that. We'll bring one down to this corner here. So now we have four corners of coverage. Bam, like so. And then the goal is to eventually get uh, one here, one there, and one here to give us you know, complete, complete coverage. Uh, let's see, I need, oh, I forgot the wiring tool. What was I thinking? I don't know that we have the wiring tool up here. Let's see. Uh, not seeing it. 
not seeing it. Dang, I gotta run downstairs and get the wiring tool. Uh, let's put our duster on like so. All right, let me go get the wiring tool and then I'll come back and wire these guys up. All right, here we go. Let's connect this up. I kind of forget how this works here. Uh, left click. Okay, so left click connect. Take it out to the relay like so. Okay, we're good there. And then we take it from here to this one. All right, we're good there. Did I place this backwards? Oh, are you kidding me? No. Okay, can I... Oh, no, 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 no. Did I do it with both of them? No, just the one. Holy cow. Now, I don't know if I can pick that up using a... Uh, if I have a land claim block up here. I wonder if I can pick it up. Holy cow. I can't believe that happened. I blame the rain. All right, let's connect this one. Oh, what a mistake. Now, though, maybe... It's not too bad because it can shoot anything along this line and that line, maybe. Hmm. We'll have to test it out. Let me chop. I'm gonna need to jump down there and chop up these dogs real quick. Uh, let's see. So they still. I still need ammo for those guys. So they're not good to go yet. Uh, let's just chop these guys up real quick, like so. Bam. Use the materials from these guys for sure. I don't need to break this up. We got a lot of repairs we need to get done out here. Oh, yep. I know. I know. Don't step on there. So many dogs. Yeah, day 45 was definitely the day for the dogs. I told you we were nervous about it. I think it's just, I think it's like every fifth day or something. I'm not really sure. There's definitely a, a rhyme or reason to it. I just don't exactly know what it is. All right, let's jump back up here. All right, so I need to get a whole bunch of repairs done on the barbed wire over there. So I'm going to do that right now. Get that. Let's see what kind of ammo I have downstairs. All right, guys, we got a little bit of ammo. Not a, not a lot, but we're going to put what we do have in here. Uh, let's split this up here. So I have 125 and 11. So like so. Oh, no, I have more than that. Okay. 125, 125. Now we're trying to make it somewhat even here. Let's go like that, like that, like that, and like that. All right. And we just want to do that so we can do this. Throw the ammo in here. Lock ammo. Should be good to go. Oh, we got to have power first. Okay. Then this side, we're going to do this. I can't believe this is pointing the wrong way. Such a dumb move. All right, <laughs> the, uh, throw those in there. Lock ammo there. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. Turn on. Bam. So now this this is what I'm pretty bummed about here is just the fact that it's completely backwards. It's so, so ridiculous. But, you know, I guess it can still shoot uh, the other direction, so it's not too big a deal. And having them out here just one step further... Will allow them to take out these guys that are on this last rung here. So this is actually, oh man, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't even know. I didn't know we could shoot. That's kind of cool. All right. So those are rolling. That's good to go. See, if I had this one out here on the corner, I think that might actually be better. I don't know. So that might be a good thing. So now I just need a horde or something to come through, uh, so I can shoot at them. All right. I'm gonna jump down and do some repairs. I've got a lot of repairs to do. Let's do this. Uh, throw this guy here. Get the nail gun out. Like I said, a lot of repairs. Uh, these corners, I actually didn't realize, they are the wrong. You can see how they're a different color. So I think when I put them in, I did something wrong. Or I was, I'm not even sure. I'm not sure what it was, but let's fix both of these. Yep, yep. I know we're taking damage. I know. I know. Get out. Get out. There we go. All right. And then down here, I need some more barbed wire. Did I, I did not grab the barbed wire. What was I thinking there? All right. I don't have anything, no, okay, just make sure I don't have steel, I don't want to accidentally upgrade anything here. There we go, just kind of fix all these as best we can, like so, and then I am going to put a bunch more, oh, what in the world? Uh, okay, that was strange. Is she, is she at least down? I can't even tell. Oh, oh my god. Oh, thank god we had the shotgun turrets on. Holy cow. Yep, that, uh, wow. Okay, let's get our composure back again. We're okay. Yeah, we just, we just turned the turrets back on, so we got kind of lucky there. The guy was coming right at us. <laughs> well, that was quite the surprise. Holy cow. All right, we're okay. Everything's okay, guys. <laughs> All right, let's 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 do a little bit of looting. Oh, good. There's another one. I hear you. 
I hear you. Oh, she brought a cop buddy of hers. Okay, take him out. Take him out. Reload faster. Just don't let him explode in here. Oh, man. Come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's over. Oh, we're going to die. No, 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 no. Okay, we're running. We're running. Oh, we got him. Oh, what a lucky headshot. You see that? Holy cow. We got him. We got him. Oh, my God. How did we survive that? We got so lucky right there. That's it. If we didn't have this high of health, we would not have made it through that. That's for sure. Okay. Yeah, there was a second screamer. She just snuck in like that. There we go. Take her out. Holy cow. Yeah, that one scared the junk out of us. Oh, man. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's finish looting here. So we wanted a couple, you know, hordes to come in so we could test out the turrets. We're at least getting that. Everything's working pretty good. All right. Got tons of repairs to do. We're going to keep doing that. Uh, and then I'll bring you back when it's close to the end of the day. No, we got more company. Okay. Time to move. Shotgun turrets help us out. All right. Take her out. Give her to her. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Get him. Get him. Just don't want him to explode. No explosions. There you go. Get him to her. Oh. Oh, we're getting, we're getting shot at. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Let's take off. Take off this way. Did he die? Is he down? He might be down. He is. He's just standing there. Okay. Oh, he gave us some military armor. Thanks, bud. Another spider. Okay. That was fun. Oh, we did have another football player run in. Yep. So we're, we're getting a bunch of those. I know it's because we, we took the bike out for a long time today, so we gathered a whole bunch of people back. Uh, th thanks to one of our subs has been telling us that. We have to figure out something else. I don't actually know how to store the bike. There's got to be a better way. Uh, I've, I've saw one video where they did like a little jump in. Uh, there's like a little base opening and then they have like a part where they jump in. So I don't know if we could do that or we could do the drawbridge, but then you have to still get off to open it up and then get back on. I don't know. We got to figure something out. I know I hear one more zombie. Hmm. Definitely one more around here somewhere. All right, guys, but we did get the rest of the repairs done. There might be a couple here and there we missed like that one there, that one there. So a couple small repairs that we got to do. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to worry mainly about spiking. We're going to put a bunch of spikes out. I'm going to finish up. Oh, there it is. There we are. Take that guy out. All right, so we're going to worry about finishing up some more of these spikes. I'm going to go ahead and do these layers of spikes here, like all these ones through here. We're going to do a few layers here because we're still going to get attacked from this side. And without these layers right here, it's going to be a little rough. So I think what I might go ahead and do is we may go ahead and start building out this way. I think we kind of have to. I think we're going to have to build out this way just a little bit. Kind of extend this same base design out to about maybe right here. Because that just that up and down base design so they can hit the barbed wire. Uh, I, I guess we could do spikes. We're not real sure. It's something I'm going to have to think about over the next couple of days. But there you go, guys. Day 45 in the books. Almost to day 46. One step closer to that day 49 horde, which is kind of the next huge horde that we're uh, working towards. Uh, this base is definitely going to be ready to go. We have four turrets. I've got quite a bit of ammo downstairs to actually make up through the actual, uh, you know, the little ammo crates we've been picking up. So we're good to go there. I think we're going to be just fine. Uh, it's just going to be a, a race to get all that done. I'm going to do a little bit of wood chopping tonight, a little bit more repairs, some barbed wire, a whole bunch of stuff. All right, guys, I will see you in the next episode of 7 Days to Die, single player season 4 playthrough on the Random Gen TBF map. Thanks, guys. Thank you.